could tell me a bit about your background and what led you to the work that you're doing now, because I haven't heard that before. Okay, thank you. Well, it started out with me realizing that I was a psychic, and it was something that happened over a period of time to really understand what that was. Mm -hmm. I have very distinct memories of being a child and knowing things, knowing what was going to happen, uh, knowing what people were thinking, knowing family secrets, wow. and yet in those days there really weren't any words. There, you know, people weren't talking about psychics. We didn't have Madame Cleo on the television. It was it was just kind of an odd sense I had that I knew things that people weren't talking about. And you grew up in a little town in Canada too, didn't you? I did. Oh I my did. goodness, that would have been even more remote to anything to do with psychic. Yeah, no, it, was it wasn't. I mean, I think I, you know, the word gypsy existed, but right. not, not really psychics. Um, you know, when I got more into my 20s and I was able to uh, validate things and realize that uh, I knew these things that no one had told me. That was one thing that was happening. The other thing that was happening is I really had a very successful uh, career in the corporate world in my 20s. Gosh. And a lot of my success came from the fact that I would know things. I would know what was going to happen. Uh, I knew ahead of time that the major uh, customer that I had was going to go into Chapter 11. Wow. And so then I worked with the numbers so that I could prove it. And therefore, by the time that actually happened, uh, I had really, you know, done done the bank that I was working for a great service and had brought that account down. So wow. there were there were ways that I understood the essence of gut feel. My father was a homicide detective, and oh, so okay. you know those guys they have a lot of what they call gut feel. Yeah, you know, that, yeah. that's how they understand when they're driving down the street who they're yeah. going to stop and who not to stop. Yeah. So that was a level of understanding. Uh, but it still wasn't really understanding the full level of what psychic gifts could bring about for a person. Right, right. So in my late 20s, I began the process of therapy, which opened me up to my own level of feelings, and uh -huh. I also started meditating. And as soon as I started meditating, the voices of my guides became very clear. In, uh -huh. in fact, the third time I meditated, I got a very direct, specific message, and it, it changed my life. And I was also thinking, because I was still in the corporate world at that point in time, I started thinking I'm either crazy or I'm really talking to spirit, but I better investigate this. Uh -huh. So I started looking for classes. There were very few at that time. Mm -hmm. I found a really gifted clairvoyant who was also a therapist, and she was on the staff of uh, the JFK uh, University when they had a parapsychology department wow. and I began working with her personally. So she was like your mentor? She was absolutely my mentor. Wow. It was like a combination of therapy and psychic understanding. Wow. She's the one that validated what I knew and, and the way I was able to work with energy. Yeah. And she taught me how to go into trance. The very first time she put her hands on my shoulders and wow. let me feel through her body what it was like mm -hmm. to make that kind of connection mm -hmm. and it was shortly after that that she started calling me for readings and I was thinking wow is she calling me for readings that's pretty good okay. and then my best girlfriend was uh, out at a bar one night and was talking to someone who was having relationship issues and she said oh well Kay's a psychic now and I bet <laughs> she would do a reading for you if you went to see her and so that was how it started so the mm. first person came to me just from a friend referring her mm -hmm. and then she started referring other people mm -hmm. and so in those early years I had already transitioned out of the corporate world and I was doing body work healing medical intuitive kind of work the psychic clients started coming to me Wow! and that was really how it began I started really first and foremost as a psychic and I am open on all four levels so I can channel I'm clairaudient, so I hear spirits, wow. I hear telepathically pretty well. Wow. I am clair clairvoyant, so I'm able to see the pictures, the past lives, the auras, and I'm also totally an empath. So on that emotional yeah. level of picking up feelings, which many people have, and is yes. probably more of a problem for most of us than yes. a really good thing, <laughs> um, that was also really a strong, a strong piece for me. And um, did you ever receive any guidance from your guides about your path in this life? 
in those days? Did you were oh, you told yes. that you had to give up the corporate world and to follow this path? Or I wasn't told. I wasn't told that I had to give up the corporate world. By yeah. the time I was doing that meditation process, yeah. I was already knowing that if I didn't leave it was going to be disastrous for me. In fact, one okay. of the messages from my guides, I was sitting in this huge meeting with probably 150 top people from banks all around the world and two attorneys for each bank. We were this big chapter 11 meeting. And I was sitting there and the voice in my head said, if you stay in this life, you will lose your soul. Wow. And at that point in time, I honestly didn't even know very much about what a soul yeah. was. Yeah. I was pretty shut down to spirituality because of my disillusionment about you know, organized religion. Mm -hmm. I didn't really think of myself as a spiritual person. I thought of myself as agnostic at best. You know, wow. I just didn't really want to deal with it. Yeah, yeah. So that message hit me really strong and I started figuring out how I could get out of the corporate world. And I actually quit on my 30th birthday. Wow, wow. Pretty timely. <laughs> yeah, really. Definitely. Now I know. I didn't know it was a Saturn yeah, return at that yeah, point yeah, in time. Yeah. But the start of your life, really, at that mm -hmm. point. It was, it was really the start. How incredible. How incredible.